Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Sonora, which um, we've been working on for a couple of days now, and we are going to start page six. Sorry, I had some stuff in the workspace that I hadn't really thought through. So um, this is going to be a simple page with a pocket, and this is from the 8x8 collection, and I split it right where the line is on the page. And so that means you need a four by nine inch pocket and it's gonna go on the bottom of page six. It sounds like Nala's coming to visit me. I can hear her. Coming in behind me. Is that right? Four? That doesn't seem right. I wrote four by nine, but I think I changed my mind. Okay, that's wrong. Forget I said that. This is going to be three and one eighth. Three and one eighth. Three and one eighth by nine, and you're going to score a half inch on the three and one eighth inch side. I was, I was thinking, I'm looking at this, I'm like, it just doesn't seem deep enough. Yeah, three and one eighth. Sorry, I had picked out a pattern then changed my mind and I'd already made the pocket and all I had to do was make it shallow. And that's an old note. Three and one eighth by nine for the pocket. This is what we're gonna cover the pocket with, which I think is really pretty. But first let's do the liner so that we have a background and can see the edge of the pocket. And it looks like I've inked everything. Although it looks, yeah, I have, it's very faint. Our uh, packet <coughs> pocket liner. Now we're ready to install our the designer paper for the pocket. <clears throat> and like I said, it's from the eight by eight, and it's one eight by eight, and it's cut right um, where. This design happens, so it's a natural break in the pattern. Oh, I think it looks beautiful. So what's gonna be fun about this page, I panicked slightly to make sure uh, everything was right side up, it is, um, is we're gonna do a, a really interesting insert. Well, a fun insert. Interesting, well, not so much. It's gonna be like a card fold. But inside of it, we're gonna have waterfall. So you're gonna start with eight and three quarters, eight and three quarters by six and a half. Let me verify that. No, by six and one eighth, eight and three quarters by six and one eighth. Let me verify the width to eight. And yeah, so it's eight and three eighths by six and one eighth. And we're gonna line the inside, the outside, and then we're gonna add a waterfall to the inside. So this is the pattern that I chose for the outside. And I forgot to tell you the score line, so let me ink this and I'll tell you. 
So we're gonna add an eight inch gusset to this since there's gonna be a waterfall on the inside. So it's eight and three eighths. You're gonna score at four and one eighth. Four and one eighth is the first score line. The second score line is four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. And that's in the cut list. It also should be running across the bottom of the screen in a banner. I had to adjust this a couple of times after I um, figured out how many um, flaps there were going to be in the waterfall and how wide it was going to be or deep. Well, that's not right. That should be going all the way to the edge. So I'm gonna have to lift that. That's not right. That should have gone all the way to the edge. These are the two um, pieces that I have for the inside. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And then we're gonna go ahead and decorate the inside and add the waterfall to the inside. And then I'll figure out how I miscalculated that because it's, it's, yeah, so I don't know why that's so, why I'm so far off. So this should be the same, but you can see one is substantially larger than the other. So this one's gonna fit, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one down after I ink it, and then try to find a, another cover for page seven is gonna have a pocket and the same uh, waterfall insert. There we go. This one fits perfectly. Okay, so on the inside, we're going to have the chili peppers, and then we're gonna do something simple on the other side because that's where the waterfall is gonna be. So it's gonna be mostly covered. So again, this is eight and three eighths, eight and three eighths. You're gonna score at four and one eighth and four and a quarter. And it's six inches tall, six inches tall. Okay, now, and we wanted that extra gusset in here because we're going to add a waterfall. And we're going to add four of these flaps. 
They are four and a half by four, four and a half by four, and there's a total of four, four and a half by four. And I'm going to figure out the placement and then I'll tell you the measurement from the top down, what we're doing. So I want it centered from top to bottom, and just looking at this quickly with the ruler, I think it's a half inch. Hmm. Let's go with three quarters of an inch down. Three quarters of an inch down from the top, and I'm gonna mark that with my ruler and use that as my reference line. For some reason, here it is. I was gonna say I can't find my ten quarts ruler. Here it is. Here we go. Oops, we're going from the top down. Sorry. So there's a half inch, a quarter, a half, three quarters. Hmm, that looks like a little too much. Yep, that's definitely too much. So let's come down from the black cardstock line, half inch. And then we wanna um, push everything to the right-hand side so that this is gonna be able to close over these flaps nicely. So I think the key is always in a waterfall is placing the first one and then everything else is based off that. Okay. There we go. So I'm coming over right here to the edge of the color and that's gonna be able to close nicely. So I'm coming right to the edge of the colored designer paper. So that's gonna work out just right. So again, these are four by four and a half. And score half inch on the four and a half inch side. Come down a half inch and then we're gonna stack these right on top of each other. And that's going to create our waterfall. Oops, that drifted. Okay, there we go. Let's see, does it close nicely? Yes, it does. That's why we have that nice little gusset there, which is just 1 8 inch thick, but that's just enough to house our waterfall. So let's go ahead and burnish everything into place. Okay, let's 
So we have just a little header on top. And we're going to repeat this process for page seven. Just so you know, I'm going to do a little housekeeping. There we go. Okay, what's next? We're going to decorate the waterfall. And I have some of these images that just look, I think will look beautiful. Um, here, and then everything else I'm going to do with something more simple. So it's easy to add your pictures. Okay, just clearing my, my cut space. Okay, so it looks like this needs to be trimmed down just a little bit, but this is what I'm going to use here. And I'm just going to use my pencil and figure out how to trim it down to fit exactly on this panel. Let's see if that's the right height. And it's pretty close. I'm going to take a little more off. And then it looks like about the same on the other side. That should work. Hmm. Yep, pretty good. Mm. Maybe a little more off the edge. Yeah. You know. I can't see my edges. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, I need that. I need to take some off both sides. That's perfect. Okay, we'll ink it and lay it down. Now moving forward, we're going to keep things simple, so it's really easy to put um, an image down. And it looks like everything is just a little bit too big, so I'm going to trim everything down and then I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll finish decorating this. Hey everyone, I'm back. I. I think I've got everything trimmed. Sorry if I shook the camera there for a second. And so we're gonna alternate these two patterns. Man, I'm pretty sure this is, actually I'm not sure of anything anymore. I'm not sure if this is from the eight by eight or not. Um, I think it's from the 12 by 12 because I think the eight by eight's a really tight pattern. But I don't have any eight by eights left, so I'm not sure. This is definitely from the um, background pack, which is 12 by 12. And it looks like I didn't trim those down. I thought I did. These are okay. Okay. So 
know it's a very bold pattern, but it's four by four, so I think if you put a three by three photo on it, I think it would make for an interesting border. Um, and it's just too busy for a whole page, so I think it's perfect in this format. There we go. Sorry if you're getting the top of my head. Okay. So we're going to do this pattern on top, then we're going to use this on the bottom, and I hope these are... I really thought I had trimmed these down. Maybe I have two stacks. Yeah, I do. Okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Some I had already trimmed down and some I hadn't for page six. And I just mixed them up. So, the nice thing about this design, and I talked about that earlier in the book, is uh, based on this having a cover over it, no magnets are required, right? And that's the great thing about pockets is you don't need magnets. Yeah, look at that. Continues the pattern, pretty cool. I like this side too, but I think it's too hard to put a photo on, which is why I chose the other side. By the way, not by design, that's just working out. Some were trimmed, some weren't. I'm just going to shop around until I find the right size. Okay, that's it. That was easy. Here we're going to use another peach. Okay, that's going to work. Last one. Let's see. We could go either way. Let's see if one fits better than the other. Definitely this one. And I think I should go this way. Yeah. It's not continuous, but it still looks very nice. So, did I ink it? Yes, I did. So it's ready to go down. There we go. So we have this beautiful waterfall. So you're gonna have two, four, six, eight photos, not counting this, the back, or the cover. So it's just eight photos inside. 
and then that little uh, 1 8 inch gusset is going to be just enough. Now I'm not going to do anything to hold this closed because it's going into this pocket and that's what's going to hold it closed. Then we have this little booklet with this waterfall. So that's lovely. Okay, now we're going to essentially do the same thing on page seven, but uh, different uh, papers and the pockets are going to be different sizes, but we're going to do the same insert. And then in addition to this insert, I also have this nice insert that's going to go in here. This is seven by four, seven inches tall, four inches across. And then I'm just utilizing these cut aparts I think are really pretty and then using some background paper on the bottom. So that's gonna go in here too. And I'm gonna do the same thing on page seven. So we're gonna have this insert, this insert, and then the base page is gonna be a little bit different just based on where I'm gonna cut the pocket. Okay, I'll be back soon with page seven.